As you can see, this is episode one in a new series I'm calling WeirdTube, which obviously focuses on the weird side of this lovely site. Not necessarily creepy stuff or scary stuff, just anything and everything bizarre and fascinating. What even is this? I'm unsubbed. I came here for horror oh, that, content. Okay, that content isn't actually going anywhere. This is more of an experimental add-on kind of thing, not a replacement for anything, so... Whatever. You fucking Patreon sellout e-beggar? Oh, what is that? You want to know how to support the channel? Well, I am glad you asked, sir. I am here to proudly present the launch of the official Rainbot store. Links down below. I've got shirts, mugs, stickers, and all kinds of other sellouty, merchy good stuff. Take a picture with whatever you get, and I'll probably put you at the end of the video. Just saying. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. You're money hungry. Well, I mean, have you seen the situation with YouTube lately? I'm out. You stole this idea from Nightmare Expo anyway. Well, now that I've been exposed, let's carry on with the rest of the episode. Our topic of focus today is a little channel called Slaughter Me Street. Let's take a look at some clips. I sure love this club. Yeah. yeah, I can get into this right here. Yes, we gotta get pizza! I wanna get pizza! I wanna go to the pizza place! Come on! Alright, fine, but you're gonna have to learn that it's not easy making money these days and the American dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. Fine, back in my day, I can tell you right now that money is a lot I hope this is sinking in. Is any of this sinking in? I hope what I'm saying actually. Good evening, Lloyd. How are you tonight? Ah, good evening, Mr. Torrance. Family problems? <sighs> Trouble with the old sperm bank. Ah, hmm. Kill your family, and I'll get you a beer. Now, hold on one sec. Ah, yes. Kill your family, you can have this beer. Deal? And that, my friends, is Slaughter Me Street. A channel created in February of 2017, debuting with a video called The Green Children that same day. So the video's description tells us that the animatronic storytelling bear you see here is called Ozfog, after his segment Odd Stories for Odd Children. Throughout the series, we're introduced to a number of other characters, although the majority of the focus seems to stay on either Ozfog or Cirrhosis the Wolf. These characters find themselves in a number of odd situations, and sometimes even break out into full-on musical segments. Turn around behind you. You'll find a tape. Put that tape inside of me. And we can sing together. So before we get on with the who and why of this channel, I'd like to show you a little clip from what is probably my favorite bit from this channel. Enjoy. Oh no. Great. Hey, this is the YouTube police. I, I, know, I heard there's some, uh, some kind of stuff going on around here. And I'll make sure everything is good, because if not, you'll go get demonetize and hey, hey, we're going to censor you. No, uh, nothing, uh, nothing even slightly entertaining. Just uh, good old bland, mediocre entertainment. <laughs> hey, who is that? Uh, you know, you know, he can suck. He can suck this hot Italian salami. 
See, they totally feel my pain here, and all I can do is desperately hope that the YouTube police don't demonetize this video, hence the horrible attempt at censorship in the title. Anyway, so what's the deal with this whole thing? Well, depending on how familiar you are with the indie horror game scene, you may already know what I'm about to say, or, I mean, if you watched Nightmare Expo's video, because, you know, we kind of covered it first, but anyway, um, you may remember an independent horror game from late 2015 called 123 Slaughter Me Street. The description of this game reads, Welcome to 123 Slaughter Me Street. A criminal on the run, you find yourself evading police as you make your escape down an alley. You see an old fire escape and scramble up to the roof of an abandoned building. You're safe here. As the patrol cars drive past, you slip into the shadows. In case you didn't already make the connection, which a lot of people seem to have trouble doing for some reason, this game and the channel of the same name were created by the same person. In fact, you see a lot of overlapping characters throughout both. But what about the characters you only see on the YouTube channel, and what about that odd stories for odd children thing? Well, luckily for all of us, the creator of Slaughter Me Street, John Colbeck, actually reached out to me before I made this video, and here's what he had to say about it. Originally, it was called Odd Stories for Odd Children, and it was meant to be simply a strange story time bear reading off bizarre occurrences, but then many fans of Slaughter Me Street said they wanted to see my video game characters brought to life, so the two sort of became one. I'm basically trying to tell a story, but I'm naturally a dark and humorous person at heart, so a lot of that comes out in the videos. Some are twisted, and I hide a lot of secrets that nobody has found yet. The songs have a strange contrast of optimism and grounded harsh reality. Some of the stories are actually dreams my mother recorded on paper, like the birthday party. The characters, the follower, and the greeter, and Nightmare, they're all from the game series 123 Slaughter Me Street. Osfok and Cirrhosis are basically pieces of me. A blissful idiot mixed with one who ponders reality in the hereafter. So this next segment is one I am very excited for. I actually managed to get an interview with Osfok, and he's here to answer a few questions for us. Osfok, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, happy to be here. So could you tell me a little bit about John, maybe where he's from or how old he is? John, hmm, doesn't ring a bro. I know a Tim, but we try not to I, I, I think you, oh, uh, oh, I have no idea what's going on. But I think she means John Colbeck. I, I do, yeah, that's who I'm talking about. He li he lives in a pineapple uh, I, the I, no, no, I think you're confused. A I, I, I think he's confused too. Oh my god, shut up! Um. Okay, so. So, uh. He's 37. <laughs> Uh, he lives in the woods by himself. He's like, he's like almost forty, and he has a puppet show. Th there's he looks like Marlon Brando's ass in a blender. No okay, nothing wrong enough. with those things. <laughs> oh, uh, he gets out of line. I, uh, I have to burn him. Okay. Uh, Next well, question. Yeah. Um. Could you tell me a little bit about the sort of world of Slaughter Me Street? Slaughter Me Street is about a puppeteer that got his not-so-divine inspiration from demonic entities. All of his silly puppets and success came from a bad place. Long story short, after his success, he has to pay his dues. That's where the game takes place. Our little show is sort of an alternative universe to the game. We have some characters from the series, like the follower, the greeter, and, well, Tim. Tim is my favorite, which I don't uh, think... I don't want to talk about oh, this anymore. Uh, all right, we can switch it up yeah, then. Let's uh, talk about you and me, baby. I, you are such a creep. I don't think we should talk you about you and me. You want to get burned again? I'd rather watch you get burned. Oh! Okay. <sighs> Bad jokes aside. Well, expect more characters, maybe songs, creepy and funny episodes of course, as well. Of course, of course. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us. Uh, remember to please subscribe to our show, and <laughs> we have a Patreon, too. Uh, every bit helps. The, the creator of the show is down to eating his cereal boxes because he's so broke. Uh, yeah. Now, when looking at something like the Slaughter Me Street channel, it's easy to overlook it as simply someone messing around with puppets and green screen, but think about the amount of both time and talent something like this takes to pull off. I was told by John that he's a one-man team. Writing, voicing, performing, it's all him. 
He designed the characters himself, and even created the puppets you've seen in this video. Now on top of that, the voice you hear singing in most of the musical bits? That's John too. I've watched this channel myself and I can honestly say that it's black comedy at its finest. It's eerie, dark, definitely unsettling at times, but also made me laugh out loud quite a bit. According to John in the quote I mentioned earlier, there is supposed to be a storyline to this and there are theories out there, but so far the big picture hasn't been revealed. The beauty of this series, however, at least in my opinion, is that you don't need to be into the lore to enjoy it. Each piece stands out on its own and the channel is definitely worth checking out if you have the time. Oh, and you may even hear a familiar voice there one day, which is all I'm going to say about that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to say hi to John and subscribe to his channel, and also let me know what you guys thought of this first episode of WeirdTube. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.